Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? Rush your boy, day 0511, aka Ricky Raymond Jr., man. Now, look, let me go ahead and tell y'all something, bro. I know y'all might be thinking, oh, this video is clickbait as fuck. Let me go ahead and click off. Hold on, big fella. I can have proof of this. I live in Mississippi. That's all I got to say. Now, look, <laughs> that's all I got to say, bro, because, look, if, you, if any of you guys know how Mississippi is, even if you don't, man, if you guys think that, oh, the KKK doesn't exist, that was such a thing back in the day, that shit is still here. It's not, it's not, I'm gonna have to give y'all background story at the end, man, but, you know, I'm not gonna waste all this time in the beginning, but if y'all stick around all the way to the end, man, I will explain to you, uh, the KKK down here in Mississippi and how it feels like to live with these, uh, scumbags, but look, <laughs> this is gonna happen to this video at hand, man, so look, a lot of you guys have already seen my first part of my KKK story, man, uh, it wound up happening with me, um, I went there by accident, I was going to a party, and, uh, we wound up turning down the wrong, you know, driveway, and, you know, you got some guys in some uh, white towels getting ready to take showers, uh, carrying their cross. <laughs> but look, man, if I do remember, I will make sure to leave it down in the description, man. But look, let me go ahead and tell you, bro. This is put part, not part two, but this is my second time I went to a KKK rally. Now, both times were by accident. I did not know that they were having KKK rallies here or nor there. So look, man, let me go ahead and break it down to you. So my sister, she is from out of town, man. So, um... She wound up coming in town, man. So we wound up, you know, make a long story short. Me and my dad, we wound up taking her to Pelican's Wharf. Now, it was my oldest sister. My uh, other sister was like, I can't remember how old she is, bro. I'm sorry. Even though I see her every day, I forget. I think, well, how old am I? Yeah, all right. So she about like 27, right? So she, you know, she has the, um, she had her son, which is, you know, AKA my nephew. So we were all, and my dad, it was my dad, my oldest sister, my other sister, and her nephew, all right? And my my nephew good grief man i cannot speak but look we were all at uh this restaurant man along the beach man it's called pelican's wharf man if you guys want to you guys can look it up on google and yes i just gave you one more closer information to where i live at no i don't even live in that area anymore but look y'all can look it up so look we were uh, at this little restaurant uh on this little high pillars man and we were uh there man so i want to tell you guys in mississippi it is prone to having a lot of hurricanes man so a lot of the things that were closer to the beach man are raised man so they are on these huge stilts so if a hurricane hits you know it won't just you know sweep their house away uh if you guys don't excuse me if you guys don't know what katrina is man look it up and you guys can see the devastation that it did and this is before people had those huge stilts so it explain everything on why people have these stilts and everything else man uh, excuse me so yeah so we're at this restaurant and my sister she's from out of town like i said she's from a whole different state so we took her to this new restaurant that we never took her to so she was kind of like you know being a tourist so she's like oh yeah let me see this let me see that taking pictures of the water she wanted to walk down to the beach man so you know i had to be her chauffeur man you know that's my that's what my dad does bro you know he'll send me out to do his work big fella. i'd be like nigga this is your daughter not mine i don't i didn't pay child support on her you see what i'm saying so <laughs> so so look man um so, it would make a long story short, bro. Well, just to shorten up that part, bro. We wind up going down. After we left the beach, man, we wind up coming back into the building. And, you know, our food still wasn't here. So, we was waiting on our food. Uh, out, she wound up looking through the telescope, man. You know, you got the little telescopes on the little piers and whatnot. So, she looking through the telescope, man. She's looking across the water and everything else. So, she noticed that there was an upstairs. Now, I've been to Pelican's Wharf like four or five times before that, man. Um, I didn't know... I didn't even know there was an upstairs, to be honest, because we always eat inside, so she wanted to eat outside, you know, so she's a tourist, so, you know, we're like, hey, you know, it's her wish, even though we got flies and motherfucking gnats and shit, damn near trying to rob us of our food, okay? <laughs> so, look, man, so she said, okay, let's go upstairs, and so we wanted to go upstairs, so I didn't even know there was an upstairs, like I said, man, so I was befuddled, I'm like, shit, I want to see what's upstairs, too, so I follow her happy ass, and my sister, bro, my sister's like six... All of my family is tall, bro. So my sister, she's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, my dad's like 6... No, my sister's not 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, my sister is 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, no, she's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, actually. And my dad's 6'3", but... Yeah, he's like 6'3", right now. 6'3", 6'4". Six, six, so they're about the same height, bro. And I'm 6 foot, so I'm still growing. Actually, I'm still growing. I have to go check, man. But people been telling me I got taller, so I might be like 6'1". You never know. But look, catch me in the right shoes, I'm 6'3". But anyway, man, let me get back to the story time, man. I was kind of, you know, going off track, man. But look, so we wind up going upstairs, man. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good even amount of steps. I'm not going to lie, just to go up one story above us, even though we were up some stories, man. So we wind up going up there, man, and Black Jesus... 
to my surprise, bro, we seen nothing but white people. All right, now I know some of y'all been like all day, bro. Man, you so you just seen nothing but white people, so you think you got a KKK rally? Hell no, big fella. They had the swastik symbol. They had the motherfucking Confederate flag symbol. They had all types of symbols, bro. I'm talking about they got all. No it's nothing but white people there, so I definitely knew it was not. You know, it was not friendly to black people. You know, black people were not catering that shit for real, bro. So look, man. They got they, they got nothing but swastik symbols, man. The people got Confederate flag shirts. They got these white supremacy power shirts, and I'm like sitting here like, what in the fuck? For one, I'm thinking to myself, whoever is selling this shit, he's got to be rich as fuck. Because my nigga, it is damn near at least 30 piece of items on every one of these people, bro. So these dudes is really out here rocking his stuff. So I'm like, damn, this nigga got to be pulling in bank. So after that side note, me and my sister turned our ass around and hauled ass downstairs, bro. And they were looking in our direction. Like as soon as we came up there and they, they was looking like, fuck no, baby. You know, like nigga, you know, you ain't supposed to be up here, bro. We was like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. You know, y'all to see me on some other fucking um you know the kkk would have captured my ass fuck so you know i would have and my sister bro she's a track runner bro so her ass was downstairs before i could i'm like god damn bro so look man <laughs> so anyway bro i haven't had any crazy well i've had like uh, i can't say i've had like a crazy crazy situation with the kkk but it was like you know kill all the niggers that does sorry for the n-word bro but you know that's how the kkk is man so i haven't had a crazy situation like that with them you know, but I have met, ran into a few of them, and I have met a child of the KKK. So, yeah, man. Um, so, that's pretty much it for this story time, bro. You know, ain't nothing really happened. Uh, you know, because they wasn't fucking with us. You know, because my dad, you know, we always packing gosh them. You know, he got that little permit to carry gosh dog. So, if they wanted to fuck, you know, if they wanted to hang out, we could have turned into a shootout. <laughs> Just playing. But look, man. All jokes aside, bro. Um... To be honest, man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's not too many KKK where I'm at, bro. But I have been up north. And yeah, that's more of KKK town than where I'm from, goddamn. So I'm, you know, more of the southern part, so I don't really see it as much. But yeah, man, I do got some more cool story towns for y'all, bro. I'm gonna have to drop some story towns for y'all, man, because uh I did wind up having some faulty equipment. So I couldn't get the gameplays off my PS4, man. So I had to kind of uh you know, I, I don't have any gameplays, man, really. So, this is some old gameplay, bro. So, yeah, man. I'm sorry for that, bro. But I hope you guys did enjoy this story time, man. I should have an unboxing coming out tomorrow or the day after that. I'm not too sure, bro. You know, I'm just an OG like that. So, I kind of decide whenever the freak I feel like uploading. <laughs> but look, man. I got a pretty cool unboxing, man. I feel like a lot of you guys might enjoy Especially you YouTubers, bro. If you guys are trying to get some cheap equipment, man. So, yeah. Uh, make sure y'all stay tuned in for that, man. Make sure y'all turn on your notifications for my channel. Uh, yeah, it's your boy all day 0511, man. If you guys do want to see some more story times, let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know what kind of genre of story times would you guys like to see, man. Because I do try to keep a PG-13 for y'all, man. You know, because I know a lot of y'all are young. So, I ain't really trying to tell y'all about, you know, some, you know, some, 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 some story times. You see what I'm saying? So, look, man. <laughs> it's your boy all day 0511, man. Uh, I only claim one son out here. And, uh, yeah, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification if you have not already. And make sure you hit the like button. I'm out.